Welcome back to finally the microphone is working beautifully already. Um, we went to Jurassic Park. We fulfilled John Hammond's dream in creating that. Then our most recent endeavor led us to San Diego, where we rebuilt the original Jurassic Park. And um, now Isla Sorna, site B. You know, the third movie, the one where our beloved Dr. Grand dreamt of a velociraptor in a plane. The very most stupid scene of um, all Jurassic Park movies. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's see what Isla Sauna has to offer. Go to Isla Sauna and capture the dinosaurs that Masrani needs to start the construction of Jurassic World. I never made that connection that they use the dinosaurs from Isla Sauna to build Jurassic World, but it makes sense. Maybe it's because the Jurassic World story was... Um, Invented later. And no Simon Masrani was mentioned in Isla Sauna. At least I believe not. Maybe I should watch the movie again. To be sure. Maybe they named Simon Masrani once. But I'm not so sure. I mean back in the day. John Hammond was in charge. Then after the problems. Engine board took over. And. Yeah. No Masrani. Back then. Anyway, existing auto. <laughs> I never started this mission before. Zero percent. Why are you asking me for autosave? Yeah, do it. Humanity and dinosaurs were never intended to be this close to one another. San Diego deserved better. So too did the dinosaurs. But human beings, well, they're predictable, curious, greedy. These intruders caused more chaos than anyone could have imagined. In the time we'd been away, people had gone from caretakers to threat. Simon Mazrani wanted to realize John Hammond's vision. Bigger, grander, more ambitious than the original. But dinosaurs have their own ambitions. To hunt, to feed, to carve out their niche in this strange new world. Let's see how things play out when we add you to the mix. Try not to get in their way. You might be destined to repeat the past. Damn, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> we clocked a T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. What? Can, can, can we please talk in... So this is where all the excitement happened. Yes, this is the place. Simply amazing. And here, we will do it again. In addition to capturing the dinosaurs, which will serve as our foundation, I purchased InGen because I believe in the science. You can reproduce your results, can't you, Dr. Wu? Of course I can do it. But it's going to take considerable effort and resources to get the science back to where it was. And you will be well compensated for your efforts. Of course, I demand results. And you will have them. Um, just for your information, that was not the original Simon Masrani from the movie. Uh, the movie was uh, played by Irfan Khan. And that voiceover was done by, sorry if I butcher the name, um, Zendil Ramamurti. If I mispronounce that, please correct me. I trust you've settled in and are ready to get started. This is Lily Halford, and she's coordinating operations. Miss Halford? Thank you, Mr. Masrani. I think I speak for everyone here when I say we are very grateful for this opportunity you've given us. As a boy, I loved to play with toy animals. And now, with this island and the dinosaurs, I have the greatest toy set imaginable. I want that joy. That excitement I had as a child. I want it to be felt by everyone. You will make that happen.
we'll need to start by getting a control center and response facility online. They'll all require power. This will give us a strong foundation. And then, dinosaurs. That is the plan. This is my investment in the vision and in my people. Please, don't let me get in the way. Our target is the Ankylosaurus, lovely creature. Capture it and then secure it in an enclosure. Why won't... Why doesn't this work? Do we need to use it manually? I mean, maybe? Okay. But don't let Ms. Ronnie fly. He's gonna <laughs> crash the helicopter. another one I mean there's a lot there oh small oh babe what no they're not baby stegosauruses are they thank you so is there only one that would be odd there's a group brachiosauruses are there triceratopses more triceratopses other stuff one, only one Ankylosaurus? Am I blind or is this the solution? Hmm. Okay. transportation in progress. Transportation complete.
While this is a team effort, I'm sure you understand that my vision carries some weight. With that said, I want a ranger post constructed and then a team assigned to it. From there, they can perform status checks on the animals. This game just feels so unorganized. This should be a tutorial mission. I mean, we, the game calls the campaign a campaign, even though it's a tutorial. And this is a campaign. But this shouldn't be the third mission. This should be the a second. Maybe the first. It's just... Ah, Frontier. This game could... This game has so much potential, but... In the small details, and also in the obvious things, um, it, it's a lackluster. It's a shame. Is your Ankylosaurus happy? The best way to find out is to monitor their comfort level and increase it as necessary. Orson Welles once said, this was about a movie studio, he said that it was the biggest electric train set a boy ever had. Of course, he never had dinosaurs. I want to make sure we can see and monitor the Ankylosaurus. Build a viewing platform, will you? I realize that may have sounded like a suggestion, but I know you understand. What? Send them off site? But why? We need to move these animals to the holding facility off site. Once their enclosure is ready, we can bring them to Jurassic World. Interesting, I like this. So now we're going to get the dinosaurs we need for Jurassic World. I just hope that in Jurassic World they won't have us. Um, research to get these dinosaurs that would break all kind of immersion um off okay what is offside exactly how, how do i transport where is offside where do i where do i send oh move dinosaur offside r okay r to be collected. Commencing asset transit. I hope you're ready for some excitement. I certainly am. Today, we need to capture several dinosaurs of the same species and get them back under our control. Captive and in an enclosure. I'm ready when you are. Which should be now. Again, the drawing distance, I mean, look at this. What is this, PlayStation 2? I mean, what the heck? Not one tree? What? I mean, what? Come on. Well, this, I mean... Uh, I hate these console ports with a drawing distance of, I don't know, 10 meters. Okay. Mm, status check, yes. Let's crack on with these next tasks then, shall we? You're responsible for performing status checks and increasing the dinosaur's welfare. Should be straightforward, and I know you're up to the job. I 
I love keeping an eye on my dinosaurs, but I just don't have the time to do so as much as I'd like. That's why I have you. Be my eyes and monitor these animals. Okay, ground fruit and ground fiber. That's not a problem. Ground fruit. These dinosaurs are ready to move to the holding facility. Let's not keep them or me waiting. That's it. Okay, so uh, we just need to get them comfortable and then we're going to tranquilize them. And um, that feels like a shitty experience for them. Wait, deliver what? Deliver to where? No. No, no. Off site. Off site. Off site. Ah, and offset. What this game is also lacking is a um, grandeur. <laughs> Imagine you have a campaign mission in Jurassic World. There's a new dinosaur out in. And you have the entire Jurassic World built, like in the movies, finished, for you to play around. That is a sandbox mode. Or imagine you have a sandbox mode, the entire Jurassic Park 1 is built, and then you can improve upon it, and then you can change it, then you can build more. But the developers in this game, they, Frontier is just, they're just lazy. They're just, oh, you have a map, do what you want, no. Show us some love. Thank you. The wild. Track the animal and capture it so we can bring it back into the fold. Where did he come from? He wasn't there at the beginning. <laughs> Pretty sure of that. I mean, there was an Ankylosaurus there, and now there's a big mm, carnivore. What? We have visitors? Oh no, they're just park employees. Never mind. We've created dinosaurs. We have them on display and for science. But that means we need to monitor our flock. I want status checks routinely performed on all of our dinosaurs. This is how we maintain our advantage. This dinosaur isn't responding as we'd hoped. It'll need the resources that are available at our paleo medical facility. Oh, come on, we need more scientists? Oh, come on, game. Okay, so we need to get another scientist. Um, altruism, very important. Oh, oh, uh, what? This is a bug again? Why is all of this maxed? What the heck? 
Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not complaining too much. Nine five five. Oh dear. Cost of reason. Oh dear, yes. Oh, five hundred. Let's go with uh, McCarthy, Janet McCarthy. Alrighty, fans and staff center. Okay, so we can build paleo medical. Nice. I mean, big fences are definitely the way to go. Injury, oh, come on. Okay. The thrill of the hunt without the guilt of the kill. That's our mission. Tranquilize this dinosaur, and then we'll get it the best treatment my money can buy at the Paleo Medical Facility. We just need to wait. That scientists, we can't heal this one. And what delivered? Why is it obstructed? Oh, <laughs> of course. Um, it's a shame. I mean, this entire animation is a bit lackluster. These arms, they're just spraying stuff. I mean, what? Why? Alrighty, bigger fence incoming. Very good. And what does he want? Forest. He needs forest. I can do that. Let's go with a slightly bigger area. Transportation underway. Asset delivered. Now that we have the dinosaur back home, why don't we make it feel like a real home? Watch the ratings and get the enclosure all comfy. It's time to move the dinosaurs. Next stop, a holding facility.
to pick up the asset. Hmm. Is this the entire mission? I mean, I can accept that. If we get a decent Jurassic World map. Oh, there's damage. The concrete. Repair it. Immediately. What the heck was that? I didn't do anything. What the heck? Shouldn't we intervene? This is instinctual behavior. Unfortunate, but not unanticipated. Besides, how would we? Survival of the fittest at its most primitive, its most prehistoric. We are witnessing history in action. Oh, I can't watch. And I can't turn away. Um. Oh, are we supposed to save him? Oh, what? What? A hundred percent health? Is this buggy? Are we supposed to save him? Uh. I guess. To save him from the evil Velociraptors. I mean, he doesn't have any problems smashing them. But let's help him. Even though it's a bit dangerous having Velociraptors running around. Maybe it's not the wisest of idea to tranquilize him the moment he fights. I could take advantage of that and just kill him, cut his throat or something, eat his. Uh, I don't know. Neck? Meat? What the heck? <laughs> Is our boy not hitting him or what's the problem here? What the heck? Is this buggy? No active task. But but what are we, what are we supposed to do here? I mean obviously it's not Huh? Uh Do we have an auto save? theory oh dear we have no auto save or do we have an auto save oh no oh we do have let's load that one for some odd reason it's buggy hopefully this uh, save will fix that It's time to move the dinosaurs. Next stop, our holding facility. Collecting asset. Asset 
Shouldn't we intervene? This is instinctual behavior. Unfortunate, but not unanticipated. Besides, how would we? Survival of the fittest at its most primitive, its most prehistoric. We are witnessing history in action. Oh, I can't watch. And I can't turn away. Interesting, so they were supposed to kill it? Dead. Oh dear. I'll send a team to collect what we can before the scavengers pick over the carcass. Collect the body. I have plans for it. Interesting, but I mean, <laughs> why did it bug? Yeah, because it's buggy. <laughs> okay, so we lost the raptors. Kill that one. Maybe um, Dr. Grant should have made bigger friends. We're expanding our reach throughout the island. This means more opportunities to capture more dinosaurs. I'm specifically in need of a Triceratops. My team will need to monitor it and then we can transfer it off the island as we've done before. I'm not the biggest fan of the game forcing you to do something, they're just changing perspective. I would like to have a button that, um, well, will start this next endeavor. What the heck? No, don't kill me. It's a problem here. Aim. I'm aiming, but I can't status check them. But why? I did switch to binoculars, but the game won't accept that. Oh, we need to inspect a specific Triceratops. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, he's ill. Okay, that makes sense. In. Wait, not his friends? He's lonely and we're only capturing him? That seems cruel. Why would we only capture one Triceratops if he's already lonely? I mean, there are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, can that one? Ten? Like nine friends out there. Why would we not bring at least two of them in, in if he's already lonely? Damn, Zerani, it's no wonder that your Jurassic World failed. That's the way you treat animals. He's already on the ground. Two doubts are enough, man. Dude! Heading to collect the asset. Alrighty, are we going to end the episode? I need to check the microphone if it's still working or not. Because last time it didn't work out so well, and I don't know why, so we're going to find out. And um, hopefully soon we will meet again in Jurassic World. Oh, that looks nice. Asset 
Transportation complete. Mm.